Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to do an updated video on how to um, cut, copy and paste files on your computer. Now, I did a video about 10 or 12 years ago and a lot of, a lot of it still applies, but there's extra features nowadays um, that you can see. So what I want to do is open up File Explorer, which is usually down the bottom of the screen here. Um, otherwise, if it's not there, which is that folder, I'll just move that out of the way. That's File Explorer right there. If not, type it in the search here, File Explorer, Explorer. And you can just click on it this way as well. So it opens the same thing. Radio. So I've, I'm in there and now I want to find a place that I want to tidy up. I want to cut, copy and paste a few pictures and stuff. So I'm just going to go into a, uh, let's have a look at this. Go into this file here. It's just a whole heap of photos and videos and stuff, and basically sorting them into different folders. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I could create a folder for um, some videos. So let's have a look. I've got pictures of a car here, so I'm gonna do a folder for a car. So what I'm looking at here is all the folders and they're in another folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go up to here where it says new. So that would create a new folder in this area here. So wherever I am, it's going to create a folder. Or another way of doing it is to go in the space and right click on your mouse, okay, and go to new just here and then folder. Okay, so we'll do that. Now a new folder is created and it jumped all the way down to the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is rename the folder. So I'm in the new folder. Whoops, accidentally double clicked on it. So it's got new folder I want to rename it so I'm going to right click on it and press on rename and I'm going to call it uh, car photos okay so I've got that there so that's the car photos now what I want to do is move the car photos into that folder there so I'm going to scroll down I'm going to have a look at the car photos which I've got some here and in this instance, I'm going to put a little tick next to each one that I want. Now, if I go and click in the wrong spot and not the tick, it takes away all the other ones. So don't do that. So we want to go to that little box that shows up and tick it. Okay. Do not click anywhere else. Otherwise, it takes the selection away. So at the moment, I've got three of them there, and I can see some more here. Here's another one. Scroll down a bit and see if there's any more. I thought there was. I hear them. Here they are. One, two, three. So now they're all over the place. So I've selected these <coughs> pictures. Now, do not click anywhere else accidentally because it will take away all the selection that you've done. So what you want to do is very carefully go to this selection and right click on the blue part. Right click on it. Then we want to copy or cut. In this instance I'm going to cut them. So I press cut. So now they've been cut. They're still there. If I don't paste them somewhere they're still there. But I'm going to scroll up to this actual car photos folder, double click on it and go inside. That was the left click on the mouse button. Now all I have to do is right click and press paste. Okay, so I can do that 
or it, I'll, if you have a look, it'll show me the shortcut right here, paste, control plus V. Now you can do this on the keyboard, control plus V, and it pastes it straight away. So there's two ways to do it. You can either right click and press paste. Now there won't be an option here because I didn't copy anything, but when you've copied something, there's an option to paste. All right, so now I've moved all of those pictures that were from the car into the car folder. All right, so let's get some family photos here. So we'll make another folder, just go new, folder, now, if you start naming it straight away, you don't have to click on it and rename it. Okay, so here it is. It's empty. As you can see, now I'm going to go and select some pictures. Now I'm going to show you a different way to select it. Now, if you come over here just to the left of this picture in the blank space, you put hold your left mouse button down, right? and I've got it hold down right now, the left mouse button. So now I'm going to move. Now look at this. I've still got the left mouse button holding down. Now this is how you can select a whole lot at once, but obviously they're in a row. Now if I want to go down here, now I could do this, but as you can see, it took things that I didn't want. So I can go and deselect the ones that I didn't want. Okay, so now I've got these pictures. But the thing is, if you accidentally click somewhere, it deselects everything. All right, so now to cut this, there's another way to do it as well. You can go up the top here and there's a menu and it's got cut. Okay, or you can right click on the selection and press cut in from the menu. Okay, so I've cut those pictures. Now I'm going to the family folder, going inside, and I'm going to paste it. There we go. So go back. So now, as you can see, this lot of pictures is getting smaller and smaller. So I've got some more family photos here. Now I can try that selection again that I just showed you. So I'm going to go in between these two pictures press my left mouse key down and go across. Okay, now I'm going to right click on them and press cut. Now that's down the bottom now, okay, because it moves around. Now I'm going to go here. Now I'm not even going to go into the folder. I'm just going to make the folder blue and right click on it and paste it. Now let's have a look and see if they went in there. There they are, they went in there, yes, right. Okay, now there's other ways to do it too. So see this, just this one photo, right. So I can see the see that right there, that family thing. So I'm just going to move that picture there and drop it. Okay, so how did I do that? I... Um, what I did is I held the left mouse key down and then just dragged the picture. Now don't drop this picture anywhere else. So I'm still holding the left mouse key down so I can carry this picture around. But if I drop it somewhere, it ends up in some random folder, so be careful. So if I put it over the top of this family, um, folder I can let go and it will be going straight in there. So we can also select more than one again and we can pick them all up by pressing your left mouse key down and taking them all at once and dropping them in. Okay um, here's another one where I can do the left mouse key holding it down and select these but it accidentally selected that one so I want to take that off because that would move the whole folder into there and you probably never find it again so you've got to be really careful what you're doing all right I'm going to drag these again holding that left key down there we go okay 
So as you can see, it's quite easy. So now I've showed you how to cut. Um, with the copy, it will leave the copy there. So I've showed you how to cut and paste and select. Uh, a few ways to select, uh, how to make a new folder, but um, we can also copy. So even we've, we've got videos and we've got um, all sorts of things here. So we'll get this video and we'll copy it and we'll put it into a folder. So what we're going to do is press copy. Now the video will stay here and it will also be in the folder that I put it into. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paste it in here. So right click in the space and press paste. Done. The video is in here, but it's also still here. Okay, so that's copy. So that means you're making another copy of it. So now I've got two copies of this video on this computer. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue to do this. Um, hopefully you've learnt something today and you can cut, copy and paste your files and photos on your computer. Alright, thanks for watching.